The Israeli government says it shot down 99% of drones and missiles fired by Iran in its weekend attack. Video from Tel Aviv shows bright lights streaking across the night sky. The main damage reported from the drones happened in an air base in southern Israel. Today, world leaders, including the U.S., condemned the launch and promised support for Israel. Fox's Trey Yinks reports from Tel Aviv. Israel weighing a retaliatory response after Iran's overnight missile and drone attack. Over 300 missiles and drones were fired by Iran and its proxies, according to an IDF spokesperson. Israel, with the help of key Western allies, including the U.S., United Kingdom, and Jordan, were able to intercept the majority of the projectiles. This was the first time that such a coalition worked together against the threat of Iran and its proxies in the Middle East. The White House calling Israel's defense effort a military success. And that's a terrific testament to the superiority of the Israeli military, but also to our own military mm -hmm. superiority. But also warning that the U.S. does not want to see this conflict spread into a wider war or participate in a counter-strike, something President Biden made clear to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during a phone call. Our actions have been purely defensive in nature. Our goal is to de-escalate and then get back to the issue at hand, securing an end to the conflict in Gaza. Iranian military officials warning that if Israel retaliates, Iran's next operation will be, quote, much larger. The threat sparking global concern. On Sunday, the U.S. met G7 leaders, releasing a statement condemning Iran's attack, reaffirming its support for Israel and commitment to securing the Middle East. Biden also spoke with top members of Congress about getting more funding passed for Israel and Ukraine. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yankst, Fox News. And there is a renewed sense of urgency on Capitol Hill for lawmakers to address foreign aid to Israel. Some are calling for House action on the $95 billion bill the Senate passed in February. Lawmakers are divided over how to respond. I expect the Speaker of the House uh, probably next week to put an Israel bill, Israel support bill on the floor of the House. I think it will be followed by a bill to uh, support Taiwan and the Indo-Pacific. And number three, I think he will uh, uh, put a bill uh, to support Ukraine. Both of these challenges involve the U.S. defending democracies against atta uh, att illegal attacks by authoritarian nations, Ukraine and Israel. Um, and, you know, we in the Senate, we have turned down an Israel-only bill in the past, not just Democrats, but Republicans as well, because we believe these two challenges are linked.